Hello. Lucy, how are you? I'm okay. Looking forward to getting some rats evicted out of my house. Uh, you didn't get evicted again, did you? I didn't get evicted, no. I mean, I didn't... This is a brand new bathroom from the remodel. I don't hear anything over here. Linen closet, the other back bedroom. Don't hear okay. anything here. Okay, and when was this remodeled? A year ago, a I year finished ago. the remodel. This is my bedroom. And of course, this is where they like to torture me. So I hear it like in the ceiling, probably here, and some in my closet. Like, it seems to be like back in that corner, like yep. that they come across the, okay. the roof. But okay. the main place that really gets me, I'm often, sitting on the toilet and I hear them crawl up this wall. This wall right here? Yes, okay. and that's where we're over the basement. Homeowners previous to me remodeled this bathroom, but then I remodeled it as well. Do you see how this wall is like inset from this wall? Yes, yeah. So there's like space. some extra space in there, something yeah. going on. Tell me you don't think this is suspicious. And so you've had a pest control company for the last five years just Correct. doing- Correct, and prior to that, I probably had four other companies come out and they just did like the initial and then they don't the other companies like didn't do follow-ups. Right. How many rats have you trapped, you think, in the last five years? 50. Up in the I mean, attic or in the basement? Crawl space, basement, and actually, I don't know if we've ever caught them in the attic because we haven't set a ton of traps in the attic. Okay. Five or six different pest control companies coming out, charging her. You could tell that she was just fed up. So I'm gonna figure this one out today. It is time to solve this case. That's some rat activity right there. Outside food source, avocados are their favorite. So the bathroom that Lucy was showing me is right here. So I'm gonna use that four inch vent there because that's what she's describing the most active because the toilet is right here. That's where we're gonna inject the smoke. This is a hot spot for sure. All right, the team's getting ready to get the smoke machine all ready to go. Hey, there you go. It's wide open right there. So we did all the exclusion work. You can see they just, they didn't do these. This is the first time Victor's ever done a smoke test, guys. Let's see how he does. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go up to the attic now, get a ladder up there, so that way when we conduct the smoke test, we have accessibility to the attic and we can determine what's going on here. Might be a bit of a tight squeeze though. Tons of smoke. All right, I'm gonna stop the smoke. I'm gonna run a camera down that three inch stack. All right, we're relocating the camera to the other vent that's real wobbly. We're gonna investigate that further. Oh, that goes right into. See the wood structure there inside the attic, so. It's completely broken. Well, that could be a problem. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and inject smoke in that four inch and see if we get any smoke in this other one that's not secure properly. So we're gonna do that now. That pest control company really should have excluded these larger pipes. That could potentially be a, an entry point as well. See the smoke coming out right there. All right, now I've gotta try to get into that attic. It's gonna be a tight crawl, but I've gotta be able to get back there and see what's going on. I don't know how it's possible. Here, let me, uh, oh. oh, I just got snapped. I'm a piranha, they're in the Amazon. Lucy just replaced all of this insulation too. I guarantee you there's some rats up here. You can see how much smoke we're getting, guys, just to give you a visual perspective. And then here's the break. Bingo. We have a winner. So here's what they're doing. They're running along there. And there's the runway right there. Remember that wall that she was telling you about? So here's that bathroom fan. That's why we were getting all the smoke into the bathroom because all that smoke was coming into here. 
into the bathroom. That black ABS, the plumber never connected it to the vent for the toilet. See how the pest control companies just placed a trap here. The trap's fully deployed. Bait is gone. It's literally two feet away from where the entry points were. So they came all the way back here and placed the rat traps, but didn't bother to do a thorough inspection and they could have solved the issue right there. You can do better than that. We're way deep into this attic and we have no materials. I want to cap this off. The separation here, introduce the smoke again, but the guy's going to have to cut the vent and start handing us stuff because there's no way we can crawl all the way back. Hello. Hello. So we're gonna turn the smoke back on and verify and confirm that there is no other breaches. Really important, a lot of pest control companies are starting to do a lot of smoke tests based on our videos, which is awesome. Hopefully they're solving a lot of issues, but what we're finding through this is they're not being thorough enough and they're making an assumption and they're wrapping it up once they determine the first breach. You can't do that. You can't do that. Lucy gave us the approval to move forward with the uh, mitigation, fixing that pipe and then setting up our attic twins rat bait station so we're going to monitor over the next few days because we know in fact there's some live rats up there definitely going to be using our twin zine for the decontamination both in the basement and the attic if you guys are experiencing odors with rat urine and droppings this enzyme is amazing that's why we use it all the time how are we doing vic good all right we'll start adding you stuff okay <laughs> Smelling better already. Smells like victory. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some exclusion 19 gauge wire and cover that void. So any rats that are trapped in the attic don't go all the way down to the basement. Even though we're gonna place some traps in the basement, I want them blocked in here. It's gonna give us a better chance of capturing those rats. We get so many calls and so many emails with regards to, hey, I just completed all the insulation in our attic. We spent X amount of thousands of dollars and now the rats are back. This is becoming a huge, huge problem, you guys. And so when you hire somebody, you gotta make sure you get 100% guarantee guarantee get that in writing because if they can't solve it why waste your hard-earned money you're hiring that particular individual or that company to solve the issue and if they don't you gotta hold them accountable dealing with this for five years is absolutely ridiculous if somebody knows what they're doing you should be able to have your results within three to seven days if they've done their job all right so the pipe is fully connected and we inserted wire mesh 19 gauge inside we're gonna set up the monitoring camera camera with the twins platform bait station and get these rats out of this attic. So it stabilizes the rat trap, doesn't flip over, big rats can't drag so it solves all of that and the big rats can't delicately eat off, it forces them inside the twins rat hood. All right so you can see we've got the monitoring cameras, we've got the bait stations all set up. Here it gives us the ability to reach in and grab the rats out of here so we don't have to crawl each time. That's pretty smart thinking. They got all this secured back. The little rats getting out of there. You guys have no idea. At one, two, three in the morning, we're looking at that phone and we get so excited. And every job, it's almost as though it's the first job. Can't wait to see what we get here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and decontaminate all this, get rid of these rat traps, dispose that bad boy. He got smashed. He got smashed. So you can see the other pest control companies have got so many rat traps in this basement. 
which first of all, do no good if you can't find the entry point. Second of all, you gotta secure your traps because they flip over and all of these rat traps have been deployed and the rats have outsmarted the other pest control companies because they basically are laughing at them saying, I took your bait, now I can continue to survive. So it's really, really important to hire the right people to do the right thing and strategically place your rat traps in a position where you're gonna actually catch rats. All right guys, so we got traps up in the attic and we have a trap down here in the basement just in case those rats decide not to get those traps up there and they climb down into the wall cavities ending up in here so now we're covered on both ends so here we go let's wait a few days and see what happens day three all right guys it's been 48 hours we're gonna go in the basement and check to see if we have anything we have not gotten any monitoring or any activity in the attic so let's check the basement and see if we got anything Oh yeah, that's the one that we saw you guys. This is the one that we saw, nailed them. The twins rat hood won again. Dave, can you give Lucy the rat dance? Lucy, you deserve the rat dance. Well guys, that is a wrap. Lucy has not heard any activity whatsoever in that bathroom wall. We haven't seen any more activity in the attic. That was the only one that was left. Another success. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.